Well, Samsung says stop freaking out about your TV. It's not really listening to everything you say. Jen, sort of the company clearing up what this means or clearing up the language. And cleaning up the language yeah. too because they're basically acknowledging that they shouldn't have had that in there, which basically gave them the legal right to do it. Mm -hmm. So they're giving up what they had said they might do before. They're not, you know, they're not kind of, they are making a change and it's definitely a win for consumers. Now, a lot of people basically just got the chills after some eagle eye caught a line in their policy that was seen as downright Orwellian, saying that those smart televisions might listen in on you and anything said in your bedroom, your living room, anything around your television, and that they might ship that off and sell it, what? They have changed the legal phrasing now. Samsung says, no, 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 they're just capturing information when you hail the television, and they are giving it away, but to the company that sort of does the translation between what you say and how the television reacts. So that is certainly seen as a lot more reasonable, and it narrows the scope of what could be collected out there. Samsung, though, by the way, has a new headline to deal with because now people are angry after word that their televisions are also inserting ads, 30-second ads, into whatever you're watching. So say you were watching something on Netflix or something, the television itself is inserting ads. Yay, yay, yay. Samsung says they are working on letting you opt out of that.